This short video is a quick student's guide to the identification of Cryptomeria japonica. In late winter to early spring, enlarged pale uh, buds at the tip ends that will become the male flowers are quite distinctive of Cryptomeria. And here we can see the fully opened male pollen cones. Uh, the female flowers are small, discreet. They remind me greatly of those rotary heads you get on um, electric toothbrushes. And here you can see the female flower relatively close up. On most trees, uh, they then develop into uh, large, spiky, globular cones, typically about 20 mil millimetres across, and often born in large numbers, particularly on stressed trees, uh, exposed trees, trees that are receiving a lot of open light. Sprays of the species type of Cryptomeria japonica is relatively drooping, uh, a grey-green, and it consists of relatively wide, sabre-shaped uh, needles which wind around uh, the twig, the green twig when it's a new growth, it's becoming brown in older twig growth, and those sabre needles are born pretty much in threes, although it's slightly uneven. But this causes the spray to sit slightly above from the table top, not to lie flat. And here we have a close-up of those needles. And if you look at the connection, basically the needle flattens and widens as it joins to the twig. This conifer doesn't really set winter buds as such, um, but it has a enclosed growing point through the harshest of winters, which can be seen at the tip of the shoot here. The bark is a distinctive uh, red-brown, uh, peeling off in very fine papery strips. It will be quite a bold colour. Young trees are often rather sparsely clothed um, and pyramidal in shape. And here is an older one in the uh, botanic garden at Cambridge University. And you can see it still is relatively uh, pyramidal in shape, but much more irregular. Reaching height well over 20 metres on good soils.